song come out. Sweet. Oh, okay, cool. Boom. Now, obviously, you're a bit nervous. I'm not nervous. You're not nervous, but cool. Once I uh, get this out of the way, you're going to clock exactly what happened. It's happening here. Is, yeah? Is this all right? Yeah, sweet. Now, this is called This Can't Come Out. This Can't Come Out. Yeah. So the premise is that we're going to have beautiful, unfiltered conversations. Now, anything that I put out there, I send to you first and foremost, isn't it? Oh, okay. So if you're like, you know what, boom, I don't like that one over there, I'm not putting it out, innit? People have come on here, they said the mad Madison stories, isn't it? And it just doesn't get put out, innit? Obviously, I can ask some questions. If you think the questions are techie, if you think they're even too techie to even be saying anything in the first place, you don't have to answer them, innit? You get me? So now, first and foremost, um, how do we know each other, innit? Just uh, just uh, break the ice. Well, my cousin. I'm saying, man, speak to the mic as well. Oh, I'm bringing close to the girl, probably this side. That's calm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just pull a bit of that, yeah. That's calm. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously, my cousin. Uh, it's coming back up, bro. Yeah, it's calm, just, just leave it, man, yeah. You, you hear me, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My cousin, known you for dead day. Yeah, like, facts. Like, like, obviously, I've known you from when I was born. Yeah. Before I was born. Well, I, I didn't know you, but you knew me because you were older than me. Yeah, I've known you for years. Now, obviously, I'll give you guys a bit of uh, family dynamics now. Cool. Now, Adam has got an older sister called Alice. Alice is what you call every single parent's dream daughter. Mm-hmm. Uh, smart uh, girl, God-fearing, um, intelligent. Every single do- do- uh, father in the world will probably want their daughter to be like Alice, yeah. essentially. Now, Adam as well. Adam, uh, basically, in terms of, uh, as a cousin, Alice is the one I'm getting compared to all the time. Adam's sister, Alice, is basically a perfect daughter. That's the one who I will be getting compared to at all times. Now, Adam, you start off, you start off a good boy. Is that, what what would you like to say about that? You start off a good boy, a good dude. I start off a good good boy? Yeah. Do you know what's mad, yeah? In all honesty, mm-hmm. in all honesty, I haven't always been a good boy. From you reckon from inception? Yeah. From inception, you reckon you haven't always been a good boy? No, I haven't. Like I've always been. I've always, I've always, I've always getting in trouble mm-hmm. like, from from school. School days, like I was always getting in trouble. Like, like, what I like to compare you guys is Brandy but and I was, never, I was never, like, bad. Like, I was never bad. I feel like I was just naughty. Cause I, I always used to ask questions, like, why? And stuff like that. And the teachers used to get frustrated. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 everybody used to have, like, like, I used to have my own table next to the teacher's mm-hmm. table. Why? Because of behavior? Yeah, I used to have, like, them kind of day report, daily report stuff. Because uh-huh. I, was, I was talkative, innit? I was, like, talking a lot. And because my parents, like, you know how my mom and dad is, mm-hmm. mom and dad are, they've always had me having, like, private tuition mm-hmm. alongside with going to school. Mm-hmm. So, I, so I found school quite boring because I've already learned this already. Mm-hmm. So let's say, if, like, I don't know, they're teaching us English, maybe, like, onomatopoeia or something, or how to use apostrophes or where to, like, put certain things in place in terms of English and linguistics. I knew these things already. But... It's the fact that I was disturbing other kids from learning, stopping them from learning. So the teacher would get upset. Mm-hmm. So they made sure that I, my, my chair was, like, my table and my chair was next to them. So I never got to sit down with a group. What level are you talking about? Primary school, secondary school? Yeah, primary school, from primary school. Mm-hmm. From primary, from, like, primary school. Okay, so you, you Even, were... like, from, like, year two, like, like, I, I all I got my friend suspended. I'll never forget, I got my best friend suspended for slapping the teacher's bum. Ah, mm. I'm glad I get a suspended in primary school. Actually. Yeah, yeah, year two. That's year two. That's before in junior school. I'll never forget. I've got good memory. Slapping the teachers, but that's the light, though, in year two, though. Year two, yeah. Two, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What did you make? Explain that story. What did you make him do? How did I can't you make really him remember. Do? I was like seven. Uh-huh. But um, what I remember is the teacher had a, like a big bottom. <laughs> I don't know. I thought, in my head, something just said to me, oh, like, how would it be like if I just slapped her bum? And I this guy's cheeky. Okay, but cool. Now, in yeah. terms of in every uh, in every uh, what's it called uh, Nigerian 
uh, UK uh, born, what was it, second generation Nigerian? What are we? UK born, basically anyone whose parents are born in Nigeria and they were born in the UK. So we'll be first generation. Yeah, first generation. We're first generation here, yeah. There's always the fear of getting sent back. That's what everyone's thing is. Everyone's had that one. You're going to get sent back uh, to Nigeria. Now, I think probably for the first time on this show, we've got a real one, in it? Yeah. Or an example of a nigga that's actually got sent back to Nigeria, isn't it? Why did you get sent back to Nigeria? Well. This is mad, because I don't think I even know this, you know? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, the funny thing is, you do know this. I've told you this many times, but you always like brand new. Uh-huh. Basically, when um, when I was, when I was like, what? 14, I was, get, I was getting into a lot of trouble at school, you know, because obviously I, had, I was diagnosed with ADHD. He was actually diagnosed? Yeah, like oh, proper shit. diagnosed with ADHD. Well, and then I remember, I remember my parents being very upset at the fact that, you know, I've got... <laughs> you got in trouble I've, for having got, ADHD. No, no they yeah. feel like, rare. You've, you've, you've gone to school now and you finessed uh-huh. them with your stupid <laughs> lies and told them that you got ADHD. Because they're seen like, wow, when we're in the house with Adam, yeah. he hasn't got ADHD. <laughs> but he's gone to the school now and he's got to go and tell them yeah. that he's got ADHD. Uh-huh. Where have we found this boy from? Yeah. Cool. So anyway, now they're like, ah, oh, this behavior of yours needs to stop. Da, da, da. So cool. Was like, you lying? Hmm? Did you have ADHD? No, I, I, to this day. Yeah. I, well, I, know, I feel like I'm special. You, you're spe- definitely special. I'm a special person. I yeah. don't feel like, oh, right, I've got ADHD. Yeah. I'll never look in the mirror and be like, oh, yeah, you got ADHD. Mm-hmm. When I'm amongst people who, who don't understand my character, mm-hmm. I kind of use that as like a damage control. Like, oh, yeah. I've got ADHD as yeah. a small disclosure. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got ADHD. And they're like, oh, okay, no wonder you're oh, so... Yeah, yeah. And but, they treat you accordingly. Yeah, yeah, but I'm only doing that because yeah. I'm stooping down to their level uh-huh. of being ignorant. But I'm mm-hmm. not, I don't I feel like I've got ADHD. Mm-hmm. That could be ignorance in itself. But like, I don't feel like I've got ADHD. Anyway... Um, yeah, my mum and dad, like, we got Nigeria, every single year, mm-hmm. summer holidays, we go to Nigeria, innit? Mm-hmm. So, like, we go ahead, I'm going to Nigeria, I'm going to Nigeria, and my mum and dad were like, right, do you know what, yeah? My, not my dad, my dad was always against it. My mum was like, oh, do you know what, I think it's best if you scored in Nigeria. <laughs> what was your response to that? My, re- my response was never like, to be honest, my response wasn't like, do you know what I mean? It wasn't like I didn't I didn't really care. By the way, this was old shape Adam, innit? This was Chubby, Chubby Adam. Yeah, this is Chubby Ads. So chubby well, did you, did you not mind going? Because were you getting girls them times still? Was I was I getting girls? Yeah. At, at 14. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably more than you. You, you reckon? Yeah. Okay. Even, I'll probably <laughs> yeah. get more girls than you was yeah. even now. Okay, like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying <laughs> Okay, cool. So you were getting no, girls. We're being cheeky. No, I'm not. I'm asking. I know not. But no, no, let, me, let, me let me explain to you why I'm, I'm asking. 14. Why do like, bro, like, I'm trying to put out a positive message. Like, it's like, imagine that like, I've got a son and I'm like, all right, you're getting girls right now. You're 14. No, hold on, hear girls. Like, let me land. Let me ask. At 14, was I like, getting girls? Okay, well, hold on. I don't care for getting girls at 14. Let me, let me explain to you why I asked that. I'm asking in terms of as to why, because I know for me personally, going to Nigeria was a fear of mine. I don't want to go there, innit? Yeah, because so my vibers is it? Did you feel as though the reason? Can... Yeah, but the reason why you feared going to Nigeria mm. is because they they made it seem as a punishment. Mm. I've been Nigeria, and I've never seen it as a punishment. Mm-hmm. You see where I'm coming from? Mm-hmm. I've never seen that harsh life. Mm-hmm. Do you see where I'm coming from? Mm-hmm. I'll get into that in a second, and what I mean by that. So anyway, now, um. So, so, so I remember like my mom and dad's telling me, oh, my mom's telling me, oh, you go to Nigeria, go to Nigeria. But I knew I was never going to go because of my dad. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm trying to say? And then, obviously, when I was 14, I'm, I, obviously, I, I went, my dad gave me some money to go uh, to the local, like, you know, shopping center in Wood Green to go and get um, some school trousers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, at that time, I'm really accustomed to the underground. I'm accustomed to the underground, how to use it. I'm familiar with how to get to West End. I know that I can get to West End in the next 20 minutes mm-hmm. from Turnpike Lane. So I've taken the underground and I've gone, I've gone there quickly because it's just, it's just a vibe. Like mm-hmm. just, you just see so many people around, different people and whatnot, and girls especially. You know what I mean? I didn't want to say, but yeah. Mm-hmm. But I saw a friend and I was like, "Fuck it, come, let's go, let's go um, West End." And he was like, 
Right. West End. Yeah, okay. let's go West End. Let's go. <laughs> so I was like, I want to go night time. I'll never forget. There was a particular person. I won't say his name. Mm. Yeah, but he had a, like a jacket. It was an ACG jacket mm-hmm. back then, like a puffer black jacket. The Nike mm-hmm. ACG jacket was a puffer one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the black one, the black one and, it, and it had the the, the yeah, puffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, yeah, it was a juggernaut jacket. Did you get me? And that one day is insulating you from the cold all day long. Yeah. So, boom, I really wanted that jacket. Okay, and um, <laughs> he told me what to do and how to get that jacket. Because Night Town had no tags to rob, it, basically. to rob it. Not knowing. So I'm in Night Town now, not knowing that they've got undercover security. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm in yeah. there. I'm thinking, rare, this is heaven. And I've been stealing prior. Mm-hmm. I've got previous. I've been stealing Sports <laughs> Direct. Like, I've been, I've been stealing now. Okay, I'm yeah. into the stealing game, mm-hmm. you know. And then um, I must have, yeah, I must have, must have took the jacket and I've walked out with it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Friends walked with me like he's not stealing nothing. Bam. He's not stealing nothing. Nah, nah, nah. He's not on all that. Mm-hmm. And then next thing you know, bam. And the guy that taught you you have to do it is not on none of that. He no, he's on that. Yeah, but he. he the guy that I found. Him. Remember, if, remember, yeah, I, I, I met someone at Turnpike Lane. Mm-hmm. My friend did it. So I'm like, fuck it, let's just go West End. Mm-hmm. But because I really got the info, mm-hmm. so I've gone to go and oh, yak. Okay. I've gone to go and yak the jacket. Uh-huh. At, like, I, I always knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't mm-hmm. tell my man. Mm-hmm. Cool. So I got nabbed. Night time. Uh-huh. I know they took me to, I think it was like Marble Arch Police Station at the time. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Kept the cell, kept the, <laughs> kept, they kept the cell door open and whatnot. And I never forget, like, they must have, like, on the, on the, on the phone, they phoned my dad. Mm-hmm. And I've heard in my last speaker, like, oh, Mr. So and so, we have your son here, to change your son mm-hmm. due to, um, you know, shoplifting. And I was like, what? Is it possible we could just keep him there for two days? <laughs> just hold him there, just so he can t- <laughs> teach him a lesson. The guy here laughed. Unfortunately, with these kids and that, I feel like I knew this. What you the know? law? You do know. This. No, no, I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm going back to real time yeah. when this is happening. He's like, oh, what the law? Like the law doesn't allow us to do these things, and you've got to come and collect your son due to his age. My dad's calm. He's looked at me. And he's even heard the other, my brethren's dad say, my son will never steal. i never forget, my dad was said, Adam, I was so ashamed. What? He said, that I was so ashamed, Adam. <laughs> as in, that guy, as a dad, as a father, was able to say. to say that his son can never do it. Me, Adam, I can never <laughs> He's like, Adam, I can never say such a thing. Why, why did your dad know that you were capable of stealing? Because remember I told you, from early, yeah, they've nice. known. Yeah. From early, my parents have known that this one, <laughs> this boy, Adam, uh-huh. he's dangerous. Uh-huh. They've always known. My par- now, one thing I give to my parents, and I love them so mm-hmm. much, yeah, they've always known from young my capabilities. Now, h- how much do you reckon... Because obviously, whether you know or not, obviously we're, we're children, or we're, in fact, we're just growing up normally. How much, because there must have been a lot of pressure on you, having a sister that was your sister. How much do you reckon that played in your rebellious side? Because there's only so much a guy can, can, can go when your sister is being held as perfect. You know what I'm saying? Nah, before, you don't think that had no effect? Nah, because before, yeah, initially I used to blame my parents you know, mm. for everything, you know, but I realised that's just an immature way of doing things. Mm. And I started taking accountability for the things that I've done. To get me, and I realized, like I, from a young age, yeah, I, I've, I've always known good and bad. Mm-hmm. You've been a deviant, though. Yeah, I, like I'm, I'm like, I, like sometimes I, I used to act and be like, oh, I didn't know and whatnot. I've always known what's mm-hmm. good and what's bad because I used to, I used to, used to have this kind of gut feeling mm-hmm. in my system that would say to me, this is bad. Mm-hmm. Like when I was a youth man, and this is wrong, and if I rub on a rub up on a gal or something, mm-hmm. I'll have a guilt kind of feeling after because I know this is wrong. Mm-hmm. I've always had that sort of knack. For these things to get me but then so my sister my, my if my parents didn't compare me mm-hmm. it's for the right reasons because it's like look at your look at your sister mm-hmm. and so i never used to rebel because like oh my sister's doing so well because i've always had this kind of like brain in my head mm-hmm. I'm, I'm 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 actually smarter than my sister mm-hmm. 
My sister's a grade A student. Everything's cold. She's got scholarship to America okay. and that. She's a neuroscience. All of that kind of stuff. But yeah. your sister's also, obviously, your sister's but also sister has to, my, but no, but, she works. But Alice has to, she, she has to read. Yeah, and she works for it. She's got, so she there's works. Levels, isn't it? She must, my sister will be like reading. Like, man will be like sitting down watching my wife and kids and Moesha and laughing around and that. Mm. And then it's like, man still clocking a good grade mm-hmm. at school. Well, I, I'm not trying. Kind like, of more worked on. Like, like, like see with me, I've, I've never failed before. In, mm. in, like, I've never fa- like, I'm, I'm not trying to be so pompous, but I've never failed a test before mm. in my life. Mm. I've never failed a test. But, like, I don't come out of places like right. Yeah, I failed. And that's never happened to me before. Now, obviously, so obviously, uh, your dad uh, clocks you from shoplifting. Yeah. Now, how does that contribute in you going to Nigeria? Yeah. Yeah. He was supposed to go to Wood Green. <laughs> I didn't go to and Wolverine. And he gave you the money. He must be fuming, bro. Not, do you know what he was... Not, do you know what's mad? Yeah. I feel like he blamed himself. Because... And it's sad because it's like... Yeah, he blamed himself. He was like, oh, I should have just gone to go and buy it myself. Or maybe I should have just taken you or come with you. Mm. And had that kind of like... Dad on son time. Because mm-hmm. if I'd done that... There's no way you'd have been going... No, but no, nah, but, nah, but, but but uncle, you would have done it another time afterwards. If it wasn't, uncle I, would have taken you. You would no, have done no, it another no, time. No, or or even the fact that it's like I wasn't bold. Like he, he they, put, they they put the fear in man mm-hmm. to be like, oh, dad, rah, like I really want this ACG jacket. It's a hundred pound. They'll get angry at me for even asking such a question because mm-hmm. they're going through what they're going through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you understand? Know it's not that they they don't want to buy it for me. Mm-hmm. My parents want to buy it for me, but right now. We're trying to sort out this house. Mm-hmm. We're trying to sort out this mortgage. Mm-hmm. So it's like, what do you mean you want? What, what, are you stupid? Or, like, why are you not being considerate? And mm-hmm. I'm thinking, considerate, like, oh, like mm-hmm. we're talking about, all right, cool, I just go get it myself. Yeah, there's certain, yeah, there's certain price points here that you don't even go to your parents about. Yeah. So, you get me, like, I, I get it. But anyway, when, when, I, when I got bagged, when I got bagged, the funny thing is, yeah, my pops, yeah, he must have now. We've been on the we're on the train, and he didn't say nothing to me, you know. The whole time he didn't say no. I didn't say nothing to me. He just. Said that Adam came yeah, remember I was on the phone. He's all come to come pick me up from the police oh, station. Yeah, yeah. So we're on the underground. Oh, Victoria. No, yeah, but yeah, continue. So wait, did you get the, the things before? Yeah, I got the things before. Though. Okay, cool. So anyway, this whole time, I'm on the I'm on I'm on the underground Victoria line. My dad's not saying nothing, and I can see him just biting his lip. Like, he's probably biting that. Mm-hmm. I'm just sitting down next to him. I'm on the train. Like, you know, the train's moving. Like, I'm on the train. I'm on the train, man. I see him get the metro paper. He's rolled the metro paper like this. <laughs> he's just shaking his head. But I'm thinking, he's only shaking his head due to the movement. Because we're on a locomotive. It's, it's making you move. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I'm thinking that's the reason why mm-hmm. he's moving. He's just rolled the paper. How could you be stealing that? Up? This guy might be in me with the tape. I'm like, gee. To the point where by, yeah, I'm all thinking, this is so not cool. So I've now then even gone to the next carriage. Mm-hmm. Man, that's even looking at me freaking, hey. So you're not to even open the door to go to the next carriage. Mm-hmm. Like, like he, he, I think it was more amazed at the fact that I can go to the next carriage. He's thinking, why like, is this, like, why is this, why is this moving? Huh? And I was thinking, what kind of boy is this, man? <laughs> like, he's like, what kind of boy is this? Anyway, we got home. My mum is just on some Adam. Maybe he's best. You go back home. Now, I've always kind of told people a funny story like, oh, yeah, they've zanged me and stuff like that. No, my parents actually asked me, do you want to go? Mm-hmm. If I said, no, I ain't going, mm-hmm. I ain't going. You can yeah, ask facts. my sis. Yeah, facts. There's not much they can do to you. Name my sis, this person never calls me. Hold on. Yo. This is unprecedented. Where I got from? You're right, you're cool. Excellent. No, no. I'm in, the mid- I'm in the middle of a podcast, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you straight back after. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So, so they've asked you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they've asked me, and at the time, I never forget. Yeah, I jinnos the guy for a phone. He's giving me sixty pound, but the phone was a dud. But he was proper on me. Mm-hmm. Did you get me? Proper, proper on me. I didn't want to pay him back. <laughs> So I was like, bro. Oh my God. And, 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 and this, is a, this, this is a true story. Yeah. So I was like, I just put up thinking, bro, I've been Nigeria before, you know. 
as much as people want to look at him, think that, yo, his, his punishment is bad. Like, bro, there's flies flying around and mm-hmm. you're only going to eat Gary. Yeah, 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 and it's, not, that, it's yeah. not like that. It's for me anyway. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I want to go. Wait, so, wait. And my, dad, and my dad, and the funny thing, I, I done it because at the time, yeah, this is where I went wrong. My dad beat me on the train and that, and he was just do, he was doing the most. And this time now, like, he made me, jo- like, one t- like, one time, like, I was vexed with my dad because he made me jog. He was driving the car slowly, and he's making me jog whilst watching the car. Like, my dad used to have some weird punishments, and, <laughs> like, 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 he never used to let me out like that. So I was thinking, nah, do you know what? Yeah, I want to go. Like, I just want to go. I went to Nigeria, fam. Wait, sorry. Well, you see that punishment over there? What was that for? Which one? Yo, your dad said, jog <laughs> and he'll drive slowly. Yeah, one while time. You're jogging. One time, there was a party going on. Yeah. And everybody was talking about it in school, and I really wanted to go, in it. And I remember asking my mom and dad, initially, like, can I go? And they're like, no. What time does it start? I said, oh, it starts from 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock! <laughs> Cause I, I said to them like, I come to a party. They said yeah, and I, when I said oh, they like to me okay. So what time you gonna be at home? And I make sure back home by six. I like six. The party starts at eight. What year were you in? I, I year nine. <laughs> like, what? Like what do you mean the party starts at eight? You not going? I was probably upset because everybody everybody else can go. Yeah. I mean, what kind of parents do my friends have? <laughs> Where's it? And they're African yeah. too. Yeah, they're African yeah. too. Like Ghanaian fam. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking like raw like Ghanaian's a style of Jamaican. They, yeah, yeah, their parents are more a bit yeah, more lenient. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But our parents are like just nah. Like you want me to at eight o'clock, if I'm not reading I don't know, Harry Potter, Chambers of Secrets or Philosopher's Stone or something, it's even you're in your bed. <laughs> it's dead. You know what I mean? So I was thinking like right, cool. Anyway. Boom now, nah, I'm like, right, cool, nah, I'm not gonna go there now. I can't go. Yeah, you better know you can't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. So no problem. Anyway, I didn't tell my sister. I left the house. How? Yeah. You snuck out? Uh, yeah, I abseiled uh-huh. from my bedroom. <laughs> Yo, came, man. Came down some man, That's TV, shit. you know. TV will make you do shit like that. Yeah, it's TV, man. And then so I've come down, and I'll come down. Then, yeah, bro. Well, how did they clock? I'm bust out. And I bucked my... I never, I never forget that day as well. I bucked my friends. I'm thinking, where? Adam, where'd you come from? Because <laughs> these lot, yeah... They will assemble themselves, they will come together, and then they will go to the party. Uh-huh. I will always meet them there. Uh-huh. And they'll never understand why Adam never meets us at the <laughs> rendezvous spot to go. I'm never going to meet at the rendezvous spot because I'm not allowed. <laughs> Out right now, what I'm doing right now uh-huh. is bad. Did you get me? So then, um, yeah, my dad was mad vexed that time. I come back, I'm on the staircase. and How you he, So I was on the staircase... Going upstairs, creeping upstairs. I thought I made it. He's just opened the door. Bam. Where do you think you're going? Oh, my God. I'm just like, up, all right. I said, so where, where, where are you coming from, Adam? I said, all right, I was just... You know what you call it in life? Oh, I was just... My friend. Ah, uh, oh, come on, beat me then. Isn't it? You, me? Said, you know what you Ah, oh, come on, just get, get over and get... Remember what I over. told you last time, yeah? When your children clock, you won't kill them, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's the yeah. result. Yeah. He's exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. Let's beat me. Hurry up, man. Because I had a good time. I was, I was you whining. You were for the beating. I was whining on bare girls. Yeah. I've got enough things in my memory bank yeah. to whine to. So I'm good. Do you get what I'm trying to say? These times now, nah, fucking hell, bruv. Yeah. My dad was just like, what? No, I put your, put your, I put your, just tell like that. Put your channel on, Adam. I said, what? Put your chin on, Adam. I said, why? He said, put your chin on. Put my trainer on. Yeah, come outside. This time now, we're around my area. We're just judging him. I never forgave him for that. What, what made him think of that punishment? That's... No, because my dad always wanted me to be in the military. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah, he used to treat my life as the military. I used to hate it. Man, hate yo, it. Your dad's a good dad, man. My dad's a good dad. No, a positive man still. A positive black man in my life. I love him. Yeah, thanks. But, but then, do you know what, though, yeah? Do you know what, yeah? The funny thing is, though, my dad, yeah. What did my dad do? My dad, yeah. When when I was going when I was going when I was going to Nigeria, he's like, Adam, you know you ain't gonna go in it. But I was like, no, nah, I wanna go. Cause I know my parents. Cause I know my parents, isn't it? Every single time we go to Nigeria, I know we're going shopping. Mm-hmm. That's the time when I know I'm gonna get Nike. Mm-hmm. That's the time when I know I'm gonna get. So I'm like, we're going to Nigeria, no problem. Let's go. We went mm-hmm. shopping. Mm-hmm. We went West End. Me and my mom went West End. Me and my mom, me and my mom, my sister. Me and my mom, 
my mom's sister, rest in peace. Get me. All right, Kenny, Kenny. Get me. We've 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 gone West End and we, yeah, we went John Lewis. Get me and then we bought some stuff for me to get ready to go Nigeria, fam. And uh, bro, and to be honest, as as much as people think like, oh, Nigeria, this and that to go to school, bro, I didn't go to no idiot boarding school. I had a good time, bro. Okay, so sweet. I had a good time, fam. Now I had know, a good time. You know what's crazy? Now I tell you. Now uh, obviously, just so people understand the relationship in it. Now Adam. For some reason, bear in mind, innit? me and Adam have always had a relationship, in it. So I speak to Adam. I know Adam's a funny guy. I know Adam's a lovely guy. In my house, not my household, in the, the family community, niggas think that you're some sort of terror for some yeah, reason. On, isn't on it? paper. But you know what's crazy? No, no, but mm. they, think, they think you're a terror. Yeah. However, because you've got the gift of the gab, everybody loves you, innit? So yeah. all of the aunties and uncles chat to Adam. They, they, everyone wants the best for Adam. They love him to bits, isn't it? Yeah. But they just think that you're, they, they, for some reason, they think you're a bad you. Yeah. The amount of convincing I've had to tell people, listen, Adam, Adam's a smart boy. Adam's going to be fine. Adam's going to be fine. But they thought you're, but the period when you went to Nigeria now, these niggas thought you, you were some angel for some yeah. reason. That, that period when you're Nigerian, the point, oh, oh, they're, they're even asking me, hey, Dami, do you want to go to Nigeria? Do you want to go to Nigeria? Oh, Adam's, Adam's come back. Adam's an angel. I'm speaking to this nigga, isn't it? I'm aware that this nigga is, he's a deviant. He's a deviant. So, what made you come back uh, to the UK? What made me come back? Yeah, because it was almost by choice, isn't it? Yeah, it was by choice. No, it was by choice. Now he's come back, he can speak both languages. What, no, what it is, yeah? What it is, yeah? Everywhere I go, man, just a finesse, in it? Anytime you see me somewhere, just know that, raw like, he didn't pay for it to get in here, or, like, I'm, I'm just an opportunist, innit? I just take my, like, I'm no, just that stop guy. there. Let's just stop for a second. Yeah. I feel like that needs to be highlighted. This nigga, 100%. Adam, it needs to be in part of his name. Ginnels, no, finesse. Not finesse. Fin- 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 finesse, Ginnels, whatever, isn't it? The guy's got a gift of the gab, and somehow... Like, there, there's always, and hopefully, obviously, we're going to get to that part later. Mm. Hopefully, whatever that skill that is, isn't it? Mm. Hopefully, you use that to your benefit, because that's going to be part of your, your money maker, isn't it, at yeah. the end of the day? Anyway, continue, yeah. So, boom, now, nah, i never forget, like, I started off in a school in Ogun State, and this school only went up to, like, year nine. So, mm-hmm. it's, called, it's called JSS Free, do you get me? And um, I've done like a junior YEC, like a West African examination sort of board council thing. So I've done that. Do you know what I mean? You have to do that to get into the school? Nah. Did you done... have to take a test or something to get into nah. the school? Nah. Okay. You pay in it because school mm-hmm. fees, innit? So anyway, I've done that now. But then I've, I've, I've done good. But then my my mum was like, oh, Rob, I want to take you out of that school. Because when we want when, when you to go to another school that's a bit challenging. Mm-hmm. When you go to school that's, cha- that's challenging for you. So they take me to a school, but the school they've taken me into, yeah, this school, yeah, they put me in at a place called SS1. So, like, it's like, yeah. Start again. Nah, not starting again. Start like, yeah, nah, year 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just finished year 9. I'm like, rah. So I've gone to the, to the, um, to the, proprietress that's the, the woman who owns the school mm. I spoke to her and I'm just like oh right is it is any way possible if I can go to SS3 and she's like no you can't do that how's that possible because you are just starting JSS3 is it possible you can't do that can you just jump like that I said cool I've come back to her I've gone please look yeah I if I if I if I go to I'm from London if I go back to London I will never forget you and this school I would recommend this school. At that age, that's how I was talking to her. Right. And she was just like, hmm, but how can we just jump from JS from SS1 to SS3? Adam, I said, listen, I'm telling you, I can do this. Anyway, for some strange reason, I was in SS1, next thing you know, I'm in SS3 class, bro. I swear down, I'm in SS3 mm-hmm. class. Then even like when it came down to the exams, they made us revise everything and whatnot, but the way... The way my papers went and that man come out there with flying grades, fam. Mm-hmm. Quick. Get me. And I never forget, I said to my mom, like, oh, right, as soon as I'm done here, obviously I gotta come back. Mm-hmm. I got you, you can't make me stay here now, because, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? 
Oh, yeah. so you finished early, slightly? Early, man. Oh, finished yeah. early, yeah, and then I come back. So I was, in, all in all, yeah, you might think it's long, but I was there for the te- I was there li- li- literally for like 11 months. Less than 11 months, like 10 bro, months. Ah, man, maybe because we were younger, bro. We were young, but it seemed like, like a long ages, time. I was there for bro. 10 months. Cool, so now Adam comes back, basically, all of a sudden he's tall. Tall. He's slim. Slim. Like, this nigga's looking good, yeah? Now, cool. I remember my mum. I don't think it was the heat. I just think growth spurt in it. I don't. I feel, yeah, I, I, was, I feel like I was always gonna kind of. Uh, the sun over there is different to here. Bro. Yeah, of course that's true. So now Adam comes back now, over here. Like in terms of part of your rebellious title. Yeah. Some of it is being removed. All of the aunties are kind of feeling you a bit more now. Yeah. Because of the language. Cause, I don't yeah. Because 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 remember I, remember now I know the language. Mm. I speak Yoruba, and on top of it, when I'm waking up in the morning now, I'm waking up super early, and I'm cleaning. Mm. Do you get it? When I'm greeting the elders now, using God as well. I'm using. <laughs> I'm. 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 I'm I know Nigerians they yeah. love a greeting, you know. So I'm. I'm greeting them, but I'm adding my own little twist to it as well. I'm giving them the language. They're just looking at me like, wow. Like to the point where he'll be saying some shit to my parents. I, I don't speak Yoruba, so. I'm, I don't know what he said to them. He said it in your bar. They're just, oh, they, they, they're just laughing. laughing. Like, How did you know that? I remember that one when I was in school. My mom would be like, Shut up. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, did you just hear this guy just what he just said? They're looking at me like, yeah. And I'm just like, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm in there. The only person that wasn't convinced was my dad. <laughs> He wasn't convinced. He wasn't man. convinced. He wasn't convinced. Yeah, this Is it? Like this guy, man. <laughs> Where would you mean he wasn't convinced? He wasn't convinced, bro. So he clocked that one. What did he clock exactly? Listen, bro. Sorry to even fast forward this whole yeah. thing. Even when I graduated, uh-huh. my dad was like, Who did you pay? I knew it. I knew it. I got some stories of you before that, isn't it? So yeah. I'm going to align you one. Okay, cool yeah. now. So now Adam's come back now. Now. I'm, me and Adam are having a, like a, a normal, uh, regular chat. So I know what Adam's on. Adam's still a London boy, isn't it? Adam's on shit. Adam wants to make money and stuff. Cool. Fast forward now. All of a sudden, Adam ends up with a fuck off case. Explain that. Okay, cool. How the fuck do you get from this Nige guy that comes uh, from, from Nigeria to a fu- And it's not even a small case. It's a fuck off case, bro. Hold on. In fact, let me just put it out there. How old were you when you came back? I was 16. 15. I'm not gonna lie. 16, 16, and 16, to be 16. honest, you're the only the, the first. Okay, not uh, the. I, I could say that in fact, the closest person to me, with the first, maybe she as well in it here, yeah, with the first real bird. Everybody, you know, everyone, uh, the one come, the one. I'm saying the one year. One year, six months. Uh, you're, the, the, you're the first number that I heard that I was like, oh my God. Do you know what? Shit's do, you, do you know what it was, yeah? I, 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 no, no. I, 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 I was yeah, like 16, 17. Yeah. 17, I was 17. I was 17 at the time when I caught my oh, first case. i never forget. Do you know what's mad? Yeah, I was doing my A-level. I was working. But it's like, I just used to see certain things. My eyes were big. It was so big. I, you know, I, I know back then as well, yeah, you know, like, Gucci and that, they used to do 50% of sales. I remember Boxing Day. I remember one time I bought a hat and a scarf and I just thought to myself, like, bro, imagine if I had more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so amount of stuff money, I can buy. Sad, man. It's always money, man. It's always money. And then, you know, a, a guy had phoned me and said to me, oh, listen, there's a hundred grand in, <laughs> in this particular house. Like a fucking donut. I was like, what? hundred bags? Yeah, I started rounding up people. Like, hey, you, 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 you. I start, like, yeah, let's go. We're going to go to this house and go get this money. Oh, God, it's driving. But even that, how did you even get, as in, like, obviously, because as far as I was concerned, Adam, you you were a good boy. You were a naughty boy, yeah? But you were a good boy. How did you even amass the courage to even attempt that? Because I don't think, I don't think I was on that. I wasn't on that. Do you know what, yeah? Do you know what, yeah? You know there's certain people that's, like, calculating. I feel like, I feel like in this life, yeah, you got, like, you know, it's bad guys and then there's mad guys and then there's wild guys mm-hmm. i feel like i'm the latter and i'm a wild guy mm-hmm. like there's no telling what i can do i can surprise you and you can look at me like no i'm not even surprised at mm-hmm. but at the same time it will still surprise you mm-hmm. i'm just that kind of yeah. guy do you get what i'm trying to say so 
I was just gassed up and I was like, yo, like, yo, money, anything for money. Mm -hmm. When it came to that postcode B from Wars, I was not interested. I'd be very, very scared. Facts. But you see, when it comes to money, I would turn into the the, the, the devil that you want <laughs> for the money. But, like, when it comes to like, fighting over this postcode, I've yeah. never really... 100%. I don't I, care yeah, I know you. I know you. But if you're telling me... Even right, even right, I'll be, we're in Edmonton right now, isn't it? Boom. I know my man's character, isn't it? If we, I if know we, it's, if it will never be an area thing. If you say it to me, yeah. If you say to me, do you know what, yeah? I'm going to need you to act like a gangster because if you act like a gangster, you're going to get 20K. I'll be the best gangster you've ever seen. Facts. I'll be the most I've scariest seen gangster I've seen like, it. I swear down. For, for, just for the money, though. But it's just for like, mm -hmm. oh, just being a bad person. Nah, no, like, I love people, innit? I have to be nice to people, innit? But for money... Because <laughs> I'm not your friend, fam. <laughs> we, no, but the funny... We, so that, that time at 17, got, I got caught the case. I caught the case. It was the worst time of my life. But speak about the case, first and foremost, isn't it? Caught the what case. What did you do? Uh, no, no, no. What... what um, Okay, so someone's called you up and said, yo, there's 100 bags. Yeah, we've gone into the house and we've done a serious home invasion. At what point did you think, what the fuck am I And doing? back then, yeah, you know, like, I can't remember back then, I was like 17, so what was we on? I think it was on Call of Duty, World at War. I, th that kind of stuff was just in my head of how to move, like, <laughs> since then. Like, this was 2008. No, nah, I have to have been before that. No, I, uh, are you sure? How old are you? 2000, I'm 32. Uh, this November. Okay, yeah, so you're, you're, you're the same age, but you're the year below me. Yeah. So it makes sense to Yeah. Nah, are you sure? I think 100%. it was like back in 2007. Mm -mm. You were born 99, right? Yeah, 99. Yeah, so it's 2007, yeah. Yeah. You're 17. Trust me, guys. Okay, 2008, you said you would have yeah, 28. How you 18? I was turning 18. That, that late, later that Is that year. when you got sent in? So when did you actually do the actual incident? 28. Ah, okay, cool. It seems then, 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 then I was on, I was on a remand. Okay. Not remand, I was on a tag. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I got a sentence 2009. Okay, cool, cool. In September. Because cool, cool. okay, I was on tag for like a year. Okay, so speak to that. 100 bags, 100 bags inside of a house. Now you've assembled the We've troops. We've gone inside there, assembled the troops. There was nothing inside there. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I think we maybe got the wrong intel. Mm -hmm. So we're in there now. Uh -huh. It's like two ladies. It's just like, fuck it. What's going on in there? Let's... Yeah, obviously, they're going to say that there's no 100 grand. And what killed it? They were Nigerian. I know they were Nigerian. Ah. They were fucking, it was in, it was like in Essex, like bastard inside, they were Nigerian. And when we ran out the house here, you see Nigerians, yeah, it's like face to face, like, yeah, they're not, they're, they're, they're scared, you know, mm -hmm. oh, don't kill us. <laughs> when they realize there's no guns, these guys don't have knives. As soon as we ran out of that place here to run into the car and bust out, teeth, 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 straight away chasing us. It come like there was um what's that thing there called um neighborhood watch. Yeah. They're the ones that chased the, all of us. Some people didn't make it to the car. We just left them. I, I, I said let's go, let's go, let's go. Go into the car. Got into the car. We drove all the way down to like Hackney. I stayed in the bush for time. Then one of my cold Are you chased? yeah we're getting chased. One of my cold defenders had come into the bush. I was I was like move. <laughs> get me but he didn't even move well next year as well he's but he's, he was with us he busts out he's ran in hackney but he wasn't he was from like manor house so mm -hmm. i think he was familiar with the east london area uh -huh. cool like dawson so was, i don't know he was familiar with the area shani and then bruv fucking what i've done I, I i've found my way to like dawson high road to get to a um to get to a cab station mm -hmm. ease i got to cab station I don't order a cab. I know back then you try to, you walk out to go no, into the cab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go into the cab or go into the cab. The way the armed police with their guns. Get down, get down. My heart just said, okay, no problem. I'm getting down. Now, nah, yeah. <laughs> Got down. As uh, your face hit the floor, what were you thinking? Huh? When your face touched the floor. At that very down. point, you know, at that very, very point, I still thought I can get myself out of this. They're gonna realize it's not me. Uh 
they're gonna realize that I'm a good kid. Uh, I've never. You mean it wasn't you? What do you mean it wasn't you? Because they don't know. They don't okay. know me. They don't <laughs> so know you deceived me. yourself. Okay? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm. I'm always like I've always been like that. Like, uh-huh. I, sidebar. I I can go to a, a rave mm-hmm. and not have a ticket for the rave. Mm-hmm. If I'm if I'm committed to leave my house and go to that rave without no ticket, I know I'm getting in. Uh-huh. I have that kind of. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? I believe in it, and it I works for me. You, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it works for me. So anyway, I thought I was gonna bust this, like, but nah. They took us to Stoke Newington Police Station and then drove us all the way to Bass Grays, Grays, Grays Police Station, something like that. Anyway, next thing you know, I didn't even see it outside. I remember we just went under some place. We walked all the way. Next thing you know, we're in court. In court. In court. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Like we didn't, I didn't see outside. Didn't get put in a sweat box. We've gone. Wait, so you've been arrested and you've gone straight to court? Fucking hell, man! Yes, court. Went to the court. Went to the court. They just said, "Oh yeah, I saw one back when duty solicitor there." She said, "Okay, uh, you know, this is what I'm gonna be doing and whatnot." I just see my mum bust the door. Oh my! Come inside. I'm looking at my mum like this. I've seen my my auntie and I've seen Auntie Kenny Kenny and and Dotton's mum. Oh, to get me, we just come God. inside, and when I'm come inside now, yeah, I'm just bro, like you got resilience, fuck. bro. That breaks my heart. Hair I'm just, that. I'm seeing them. I'm like my mom, like as soon as I saw my mom, yeah, this me, <laughs> just straight away like crying, like boom, like they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna get bail, got bail, cool. The pastor come. That's the pastor. Nah, this is another pastor from Redeem Church. Okay, yeah, he's come to come and pray for me. After finished praying, yeah. <laughs> After finish praying, yeah, I never forget this year. The guy, the guy's dead as well. May so rest in peace. This him to me. Um, Adam, I'm going to go and do some outreach in Sierra Leone, Freetown. I was wondering if you can find me a ticket. I'm like hell yeah. What's up? I remember that. Yeah. He the pastor wanted him to do fraud. No, the pastor said he wanted me. To, apparently, after I wanted me to find him a ticket. So anyway. I've sourced him the ticket in it. All got in business class, dog. Yeah? <laughs> Everything. Cold. He's paid off. Wait, 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 wait. So the pastors came up to you on the Bible. Yo, Adam. Um okay, so she he, the pastors found out you're on you're on, you're obviously on some sort of mad illegal shit. He's come to you like, yo, Adam, by the way, I need you to find me a ticket. <laughs> I've got the ticket. Have I got a ticket for my man? I swear Dan. He's basically Come to me for the give me the money cash. Uh-huh. I don't know if from the church. I don't know if this is this is offer you money. I don't know what it is, but it's giving me cash. Taking it, give me like six bills. Uh-huh. I'm just the actual ticket though. Probably more. I like, feel like fifteen hundred. Okay, cool. Give me like six bills. Uh-huh. There's a pass to me that nice to me. Uh-huh. It's not much. Six bills I actually back there was a lot. Uh-huh. It's, no, it's a lot. Oh, no, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. So anyway, now nah, and then um, what did he do? He um. What did he do? He, he. I told him what to do. I said, don't go, don't go to the information desk. Go to like, the kiosk. Back then, they have a kiosk that kind of like, that thing where you print out your yeah, ticket yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah. back then, yeah. He's gone to the key. He's gone to the kiosk. I never asked him. Oh, could you just see the credit card that was used to purchase the ticket? But guess who was with him? My dad. Oh my god. And the pastor was like, it is his son. <laughs> yeah. My dad came back and told me that he gave me the whole reconstruction, the reenactment, he told me everything that happened. But I was like, Adam, I was so embarrassed. Adam, I had to use my credit card to go and buy that money ticket. To... We can never go to that church again, Adam. <laughs> you know, let's, let me tell you something, yeah? This nigga is not lying at all because he's told me this story previously. Word for word, the, what you said about your dad, exactly the same. My business. dad was like, Adam, I was so embarrassed, Adam. <laughs> I just... I, I used my credit, I, I bought my wallet out. And see that, Jesus, they're so dramatic. Like, that I bought my wallet out, that my wallet. My wallet. I'm like, yeah, what about your wallet? I bought the wallet out, I shut up. <laughs> How dare you use fraudulent means for a pastor? <laughs> and I'm like, is this, is this guy, I'm thinking, like, Dad, are you mad? Like, he came to me. <laughs> he's led me into, he's cornered me into this now. And he's asking this mom, while you on And my mum was like, what kind of man is this? He should know what to do. Yeah. And my mum was like, even at that time as well, my mum was like, end now. These things happen with Razak. I'm like, so, and my, my dad looked at my mum, yeah. So you are also doing this. <laughs> anyway, yeah. cool. So, so go back to the, 
um, you were the pastor came to you before the pastor came to you. So the pastor's come to um, the court with Mrs. Uh, Federer yeah. and uh, your mum and that. So cool. They've seen you now. All of a sudden, you're in court now for um, yeah, yeah, aggravated burglary. Aggie B. I <sighs> saw mm, so the charge was Aggie B. Now, so obviously, this is the first time you first time I've been in court. First time, like. My, I've never seen my mom in court. First time I've seen my auntie in court. The first time just us being, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Even nah, it, did you think you were going to bust it? Huh? No lie. I met one guy and he just come out of jail for aggravated burglary as well. He was like, this is one of those local kind of guys in the area. And he even said to me, like, listen, you're not busting it, bro. <laughs> No, but I said to my man, no, no, I'm doing Isn't my... You I, I, you know, I, yeah. I said to my man, no, I'm doing my A-level. Uh, and I'm doing economics. He said, forget that, bruv. It's a Congolese guy. Oh, who, who is that guy? Like, he, he, he was... Shh! Time, oh, yeah. Be, okay, yeah. he said to me, listen, bruv. You're never gonna get what you think you're gonna get, bruv. This system is fucked. <laughs> and, I, and the way he was talking to me, I was thinking, no, nah, that's you, though. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. obviously, look at the way you talk, fam. You know, like, shh! I don't know. Yeah, 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 Get me? Yeah. But my man's like, my man's like, oh, that's you. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, rare, like. I'm no. I said to him, that's that's you, yeah. like. In my head as well, I'm like, no, nah, like you're fresh, like, yeah. cause like they're gonna they're gonna throw the book at you. But I'm yeah. actually doing A levels. Uh-huh. He's like, forget that, bruv. I said, no, nah, no, nah, I'm doing I'm English lit, uh-huh. economics, business studies. Uh-huh. I do communications. Uh-huh. I got three A levels and one AS. Uh-huh. These are serious points. And I applied for top unis. Uh-huh. I top, applied for UCL. Uh-huh. I applied for top unis. Get me? And he's like, forget that, bruv. The guy in jail, bruv. <laughs> Sweet. So now, <laughs> all my bedrooms are like to me, nah, you're going to bust it, fam. What? Adam, you've never been, you've never been arrested before in your life. They don't know you for nothing. Bruv. And this, the, my brothers are like to me, listen, you go guilty. I think you might get a tap on the wrist, you might slap on the wrist. So you weren't guilty? So I weren't guilty, yeah. And explain what happened when they... So I weren't guilty, you know, Jewish sister at the time, not knowing about the judicial system. Um, yeah, man. Uh, when I remember court. thinking your case was sweet, my yeah. household. I went court. I went court, yeah. When I went court, yeah. Um, when I went court, yeah. This is a sentencing now. Was my dad there? Nah. Oh, okay. H, H J J Sidebar. I love your dad to bits. My <laughs> uncle, yeah, I love him to bits. But his dad studied law, in it, in this country. <laughs> Never made sense to me. His dad can speak English. Don't get it twisted. But it's not the kind of person, not the kind of English that you want to represent you in court. <laughs> yeah. I know. I hey! <laughs> my lord! This man is an innocent man. No, I, I'm not. <laughs> I never forget. I mean, I was like, maybe we can use dummy's dad. I said, who? Your dad, your dad said what? Are you dumb? <laughs> he's studying law. He knows what he's doing. I said, no, no, no. <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I said, God. no. Hey, Get me. So anyway, anyway, now, nah, I'm in the court. I never forget, like, for my, for my, I mean, for my sister, like, I was boiling. I was in the toilet. But for my sister... I was like, Adam, whatever God says is going to happen, it's going to happen. If you're going, you're going. But I was like, no, but dad said, yeah, that, that's what dad thinks. Dad's got, you know dad already, he has a faith. He has the faith mm-hmm. of a mustard seed. I was like, yeah, it's true. Anyway, is it Mr. My last name, stand up, please. All right, cool. Stood up. I hereby sentence you, this is a, I hereby sentence you to a young offenders institution of the duration of four years. When he said that, my leg. <laughs> it wasn't even spaghetti after that. It was Indomie. Oh my Brother, God. my leg. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know spaghetti has even got some sort of length to it. Aye. My leg turned to spaghetti. I swear to you. Know, spaghetti care. Noodles. You felt that? <laughs> you know these circle people? They just held like this haze. It's alright, son. Yeah, so <laughs> my leg gave way. Bam! I've dropped like this. The guy said it's okay. Oh my god! Chop your sentence in and listen to the judge. <laughs> listen to the judge. Let him say it to you because this is your life here now. That's what the guy said. That's what he said. 
Yeah. I've dropped. I've stand back up. The judge has paused. I've looked to the right. I've seen all my friends. Everyone's face. Let's look. Bro, that's my dad. I've everybody. Everyone's like, look. My dad. He said, Adam, yes, just go down. <laughs> don't worry. Just don't worry. You'll be out. I said, see, this here is not a time for optimism. You know? <laughs> this here is a time for grief. We have to grieve that Adam, your only son, your only begotten son, <laughs> is going, is going down. I said, yeah, this is real shit. What? I've gone down. I've come now, yeah. The barrister. I'm looking at the barrister. I said, four years. What's going on? So no. It's not gonna, you know why people are like, no, it's not going to be four years. So what it is, yeah, it's going to be two, yeah? And because you've been on tag as well, there will be some time taking off, off the two. I'm looking at this bitch like, brother, <laughs> you fucking whore. You, is, you, you, is you, you know? <laughs> you set man up, fam. Yeah. Like, that witch <laughs> makes you rot in hell. <laughs> that bitch, brother. I'm telling you, that Jewish listener, she came with that stupid Harry Potter cloak. <laughs> with that stupid... <laughs> you know that stupid wig that I wear? She said, right. She took it, they said, right. I know that judge. Today he was grumpy. You know how they do? He hasn't had his lunch. Are you stupid? He hasn't had his lunch. You know, I look at if I slap you, that your face will turn to one squash tomato. Like, like, you know, like, you know, I was so vexed here. But at the same time, I'm, all I'm thinking is four years, four years, rare. Uh. I can't even beat girl. Uh, I can't summertime. I can't even enjoy myself. No, you enjoy summertime. No, it was like it was end of summertime. But imagine I was just about to go into uni. Uh, that's why I spoke. I spoke to that. And, and from my first year as well. And because obviously, remember, most of my friends are older than me, mm -hmm. and they were in uni already. So they're like, "Don't do the whole thing now. Forget that. Just pattern up a yard from your first year. It would have been lit." Said so, like, "Don't do the whole thing. Just." From first year, you're going to get yourself your own yard. I was like, yeah, 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 I'm on that. From my first year. Mm -hmm. You would have been the youth that has his own yard. I, bro, what, what if you, I you, went you... you it, I don't think it even matters right at this point in time. Mm -hmm. Let me finish this. You see, if I went uni at the time I was supposed to go to university, mm -hmm. whilst all these chicken heads were going to university... So anyway, If cool. I went uni, when these all were going uni, and I wasn't serving... Jail upstate safe. Cut. So wait, when they when they sentence you to four years, what's the pattern? Is it straight to this uh, straight to cells? Nah, so no, nah, so, yeah, so, so 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 you go to hold your cell and then they'll put you onto this is the we're going to the the bus the bus. This is the first time I've been on the bus. You're on the bus now. They'll chain you in, put you in, and whatnot. You're sitting on the bus. You already had your cry. Huh? Have you cried already? I've already cried. Uh -huh. I cried again, uh -huh. and then I cried when I was on the bus. Now, when I was looking at the roads. I remember it's tinted as well, 100% opaque. I'm looking outside the window, it's... This ain't even funny, bro. The only thing uh, I'm thinking about is like, what made me go and do that move, man? <laughs> what made me go and do that move, the fucking fool? I hated myself, bro. Uh -huh. I was on the bus and I was like... And I'll never forget, I met one guy. We got the on the bus? No, we, no, he was on. He was on my bus, Chelmsford. The guy, I think he's been in jail in and out, in and out. He was giving us serious gems. Us, us more than you guys. No, it's yeah. me and my co-defender. Yeah. I was like, what, what, raw, right, what? Because them times I was wearing Armani glasses. Like, what? They're Armani glasses, raw. Right, yeah, you do your thing on the roads, innit? I don't know. That's <laughs> that's just the way they saw as yeah. he does his thing on yeah. the roads. I was like, so you think well then yeah. I'm gonna take it. I do my thing yeah. in it. Like, no, 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 your thing's cool. Like, right, you got, come in my wore suit to check, mm -hmm. to, 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 to court. He's like, what, what's the court? What was he wearing? Hmm? What was he wearing? The guy was wearing tracksuit. <laughs> my man, do you know what my man said to me, brother? My man said to me, hey, brother, we're good. It's me, oh, why is that? Do they know you in the jail? He's like, nah. Man's got the... What's that mean? I swear to God, at the time, I didn't know what the <laughs> was. Uh -huh. After a while, I started realise what the <laughs> was. Listen, man's got the smelly. I said, the uh -huh. smelly. Cause remember, uh -huh. I don't smoke weed. Uh -huh. I, I don't, mean, yeah. I don't burn. At this time, I don't burn. I don't burn weed. No, no, I burn cigarette. Mm -hmm. Even they saying burn. What's burning? What's burning? Yeah, like <laughs> they they saying, oh, you got burn. What? Where's burning? Why? Where? Just <laughs> <Do you> understand? <laughs> oh, 
press the fire alarm. You get me? Not knowing they're talking about smokes. You get me? So anyway, he's like, got the. You see, when we got to this, the wing, me just knowing this guy. Man. Where is I know, that guy from? He was from uh, Ilford. <laughs> okay, yeah. But anyway, everyone was like, Red, bup, bup, yo, yo, yo. The- to my man. What? They're behind their cells. All I'm hearing is banging. Yeah, I got that. And you know, tomorrow morning, come shout me. He's like, wow. This is him. He didn't, and the man, he didn't come with nothing, you know. Uh-huh. He's like, you, th- like, the next morning. Oh, because he's, he's one of them that niggas. Okay. The next morning, he's now come to our cell. And you know, like, and he's very helpful. Like, you know, wake up, wake up. It's so she's doing not your breakfast pack, get your breakfast yeah, pack, yeah, yeah, whatnot. Yeah. Or he's busting me, he's telling me what to do. Like you need slippers though. You can't go into because then that's how the shower on the socks. Mm-hmm. You need slippers, I'm like, nah, I'm gonna wait for my friend to send me the the, the stuff. Listen, no, 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 you need slippers. Let me get them. Got, you, 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 you bun. It's me, no. He said, You don't bun. It's me, no. So how long did you get? It's me, oh, I got four years, isn't it? He said, What do you too? This me, yeah, this him, you need to bun, fam. He said you need to bun. I said to bun. Not knowing. This was actually my first time actually burning a spliff. Mm-hmm. Yeah? I'm in a cell with my man. I'm so scared that if they... Fa- Imagine, we're in a place where we're... we're, we're they're supposed to correct us. They're supposed to correct us. And I'm now again in the place doing it wrong where they're supposed to correct us. I'm around these guys. I'm thinking, Jesus, do you guys have no remorse? Wait, this is not rehabilitation. What? This is a camp. Uh-huh. This is a joke. Next thing you know, my man's giving me the spliff like this. I didn't want to look like out of place. Like, like, place, like an amateur, novice. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. I've taken the thing like this. Listen, <laughs> my, 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 my man's going to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen, draw that, man. It's me. Okay. <laughs> draw the thing that I've given my man back. Listen, come on, fam. Spotted me. I, as I let this out, I see. Uh, you see my head. <laughs> man. I went, back, I, went, I went back to my cell. I just started bawling, fam. I said, Where is this? <laughs> Wait, I'm not used to this. Where is this? Even the second day as well. I'm now chilling with these lot and whatnot. They're thinking, Yo, like, where is you from? I told them that I'm from, from Tottenham. They're like, Red, what? Do you know my man? Do you know my man? It's me. Oh, yeah, I, I know who he is. I know who he is. Then they mention one name mm-hmm. that I knew yeah. fully. Yeah. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm going to say his name. They, they mention one. Just say I, 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 I take out. I didn't even mouth. I mean, I mentioned, I mentioned what, there was yeah. one you here. They said his name. When they said his name, I was like, what? Ask my man about me. Why did you do that? I, the weed. It's <laughs> got to my head now. I'm like, they're I, thinking, I think I know who the name is. They're like, Rare. They're like, Rare, what's, yeah, what's my man about me? Come on, see, no, what's my deal? Like, man, it's the end sometime. Like, man, I don't really do this. I started coming out my shell a little bit. I'm thinking, yeah, he's cold, he's cold. Next thing you know, I've, re- I've, I've been radicalized now. Mm-hmm. I'm in the system now. <laughs> so, Wait, so what? day two, and you reckon by you kept day, that for by the By day then? two, yeah. But then luckily, though, I had a, I knew someone that, I knew someone, one of my good pals, I met him, I met, I met him, he opened my cell, my cell, my observation flapping, it was like, boom, mm-hmm. said my name, like, what are we doing around here, like, Adam, like, get me, like, I was like, oh, come on. Oh, yeah. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I was, I was happy to see him, but at the same time, I already made friends, uh-huh. and the guys that I was making friends with was some, they had pulling, they had pulling the jailhouse, mm-hmm. so I was like, yeah, I'm cool. To get me, so I was, I was blessed, didn't it? I was cool, like man, that man had a and you a kept cool with both third parties. I kept cool with everybody. Yeah, like, I was cool with everyone. I cool with everyone, and then after that, I went to Rochester, and then after that, yeah, I finished my time in Rochester, and I came home, 2011. So from 09 to 2011, I came home. This can't come out.